What's up y'all, my name is Barbara Atwood. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am showing y'all how I recreated the Restoration Hardware Career Wax Concrete Console Table. So if you like what you see, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's begin. All right, so to begin, everything that I bought was from Home Depot and it will be linked and listed down below in the description box. I am taking my two by 12 by 12 foot board that I got from Home Depot again. Um, I got it cut into one five foot piece and then two 40 inch pieces. So the two 40 inch pieces are obviously gonna be the side for the table. Um, this is gonna be like the, um, how do I explain it? Like the, I don't know why words are leaving my mind it's going to be the main part of the table yes so it's not a full concrete table because girl that would have been too much work one and um two it would have been um very heavy very heavy to uh move because i created i did this in the basement and i was not trying to like have it be stuck in the basement so i have my boards here i am just making sure that everything is level i don't have a workbench so i'm using like my old computer desk and i have like boxes and like the remaining tiles on top and then we're just going to have the board laying on, laying on flat to make sure that um it's the same height as the side so that i can like balance everything together all right and then now i am just lining up the sides of the the two sideboards onto the main piece of the board <laughs> and then um, I'm taking my construction glue and then I am putting it on the only on one side you don't want to put it on both of them because that's what the instructions say I don't know girl but I learned my lesson from the last um what was it that I made my DIY bench that I made I learned my lesson I'm wearing gloves okay I'm wearing gloves because anybody got time for this, the weird spores that it does on your fingers it's weird but um I'm actually very happy I picked out the wood myself because the bench that I made the other person uh, the employee picked it out and he gave me like a warped piece so like it was bent and I didn't like that so I wanted to make sure that um, I got the piece that I wanted and everything was just very flat and aligned all right so y'all saw me mark out the holes of where I want to drill and then now I'm just going to take my drill and pre-drill holes for where I want the screws to be um very simple this is very 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 simple listen if you didn't even want to do like the the concrete skim coat you could have just got away with just doing this putting in your wood filler to cover up the screw holes and be well on your way it would have been the perfect table all right and then now i'm just drilling in my um screws making sure that it's all the way in and not loose at all And then next I'm going to take my wood filler just to cover the screws so that it's not showing. I mean, it doesn't really matter considering that I'm going to put like drywall on top of it. So like, but like if you just didn't want to put this, um, the concrete overlay or whatever, you could have just got it in the way with just doing this and being well on your way. And then I'm also putting wood filler, um, on the, the edges where the two boards meet. Well, yeah where two boards meet and then I'm just using some rink and dink piece of <laughs> cardboard to slide it through and then I also sanded it after it was dry. All right, so this is how I was able to get the concrete look without actually use without actually using real concrete. I used all purpose drywall compound premix cuz the whole consistency and trying to perfect it that would have been too much work for me you know what I mean and um, concrete is very messy it's very messy and you can't touch it with your bare hands like drywall I get away with some um, <laughs> touching it without gloves which I know you're not supposed to but um, it's just what I do you know what I mean so I'm just scooping ev uh, everything I don't know why I ended up putting it in a different bucket when I just ended up using the entire bucket of the drywall compound. But I also took some quick creep um, liquid cement color and the charcoal color. Um, I think they also have it like in a brick red color. But um, I went with 
charcoal because that's the color I wanted to achieve and then I added some into the mix and then making sure that I use my paint stick to mix it thoroughly All right, so now we are going to slather it all over the table. We are going to put it on top, on the sides, underneath, making sure that every corner, nook and cranny, is covered in drywall compound, okay? Um, just making, sh using my steel trowel to smooth everything out. Um, this was like, I guess, the most tedious, in a sense, because you want to make sure that no wood was showing, but you also want to make sure that you weren't making too much of a mess, you know what I mean? Um, and when I was initially trying to make this, um, when I was initially shopping for like the products to make this table, I was deciding if I wanted to go with like the actual concrete mix and then just mixing it myself. But I was trying, I was struggling to find like, nobody could give me a concrete answer. Okay, that's, there we go. A concise answer uh, <laughs> as to how I can apply concrete vertically without it sliding all the way off. So I was like, I don't have time for this you know i don't have time for this the lovely lady at um home depot said just use drywall compound and dye it i was like say less and she told me to bring uh bring a picture to show her when it's fully done because she's like she never heard uh, somebody doing that before but i'm very happy you know because who has time to be paying twenty two hundred dollars on a table not i no ma'am okay we did this all for two hundred dollars okay so if i could do it y'all could do it and you can save the coin you feel more um accomplished you know when you build stuff you know that's what i've been learning throughout this whole new house stuff that i've been this whole diy avenue i've been going into you know what i mean but yeah i'm really happy Yep, so y'all are just seeing me slather it, making sure that it's being applied in every nook, corner, and cranny. Um, this is just sped up. So y'all can just see how much work it goes into. I mean, it's not that, it's not a lot of work. You just wanna make sure that it's smooth, but not too smooth again, cause you don't want it to be like polished. You know what I mean? I didn't want everything to be so pristine and clean and all that. I wanted ruggedness, but still like structure. I feel like I'm talking too much. So y'all are just gonna see me apply this for now. And then I will check in with y'all when we're at the next step. And then after I was done like applying it all, 
all the drywall compound i let it rock for three days because i was nervous i just want i didn't want it to like move right i want to make sure it was fully dry you feel me but um you want to do like a water test to see if it's like fully dry i guess that's what it said on the um <laughs> the sealer's uh instructions put some water on top and see if it'll be absorb if it sits on top it's not ready to be sealed you want to make sure it's absorbed all the way right and then you see my finger rubbing it or whatever it doesn't smear that's how you know it's ready to be sealed okay so um before i seal it though i wanted to sand it and i didn't sand it to where it was um completely smooth i used an 80 grit sanding block and then i just sanded it if i knew i would have wore a mask during this because girl I was not able to breathe properly for the rest of the day because there was so much drywall dust. I don't know what my problem is. But uh, now I am taking the Quickcrete Acrylic Concrete Sealer. I know we did not use um, actual concrete, but it's still, it could still work. It still works with the drywall. So um, I'm taking a foam roller and a tray, pouring the sealer in there, and then I am just rolling it on. Literally just rolling it on. I think I did three coats. And then I let that dry overnight. Um, in the instructions, it says that you can use like a paintbrush or like a garden sprayer. I guess the garden sprayer would be used for like outdoor concrete stuff, like the steps. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I used foam roller because I wanted an even application. You know what I mean? Even application. Now, it does look milky when it was on, when it goes on. I was kind of nervous. I was like why is it milky but then I read the reviews and it says it dries clear so we're all good but yeah I'm just making sure I apply it all over again we're going in every single nook corner and cranny because we do not want any water stains ain't nobody got time for that you know what I mean to be honest I don't even know why I was wearing goggles that <laughs> Uh, looking at this footage I look like a bug but um <laughs> I don't know if it was toxic I highly doubt it I mean I like when you're rolling it like some does like splash off and onto your skin I didn't get any skin irritation or whatever but um yeah just wanted to bring that up just in case y'all were wondering all right and this is how she looks when she's completely done all right and then you know i had to like jazz it up a bit you see the texture you see she's that girl i feel like this is like my favorite diy project i've done today i styled it i picked up some pieces from home sense and um winners and i put it on it looks very cute i'm very here for it so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time all right bye